For an individualized program, consult with a holistic veterinarian. I recommend a high moisture diet to keep up the cat's fluid levels. Do not feed dry food alone. Kidney problems are accelerated by a diet of dry food that too many people feed their animals. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho, and that was a quote by Dr. Jean Hoff from the book, The Veterinarian's Guide to Natural Remedies for Cats. This is part two of my CKD series. Part one was about pre-made raw and lightly cooked options. I'll put that video in the top right corner and in the description below. So in this video, we're gonna talk about low phosphorus wet cat food that you and your cat's doctor should discuss. I am not a doctor. I cannot provide individual advice through video and in YouTube comments, even if I was a doctor. So again, you have to take this information to your cat's doctor because every cat is an individual. So you and your cat's veterinarian have to come up with a wellness plan that works for your individual cat. So according to VCA hospitals, a low phosphorus diet for cats with kidney disease would mean that the phosphorus level is between 0.3 and 0.6% on a dry matter basis. So I use Dr. Lisa Pearson's cat food database and you can sort it by phosphorus level right here or you can sort it by carbs, you can sort it by protein. I sort it by phosphorus since that's what we're concerned with when it comes to CKD cats. So I looked through this and tried to find the best that I could with the lowest phosphorus. So since this was compiled in 2017, I went to the manufacturer's website and dug around for the nutritional information because it's 2022 right now. So we want to make sure that we have the most updated information. So I suggest that you do the same. The first low phosphorus wet cat food that we'll look at is Weruva. I don't know how to pronounce that, but so here we have the with beef and pumpkin and gravy. So that's a con right there. With means that the beef and pumpkin composition is less than 25% combined. The minimum requirement is 3%, but it's less than 25. Otherwise it would say beef and pumpkin dinner or beef and pumpkin entree. So that's a con right there, right off the bat. But in the ingredients, we see beef broth, beef. I think that's it for meat ingredients. So, you know, it's still better than meat byproducts or mystery meats. At least it tells you beef, broth, beef. And there's also pumpkin, sweet potato, potato starch, carrot. You know, these things are going to add carbs to the food. But when we're looking at CKD, you know, we might need higher fat, higher protein, and these vegetables can also add some fiber to the diet to help everything move out. But so for the nutritional information right here, you see under guaranteed analysis, it says detailed nutrition information. So I'm going to click on that and then it's going to tell us all of the products that they have. They're going to tell us the ME, metabolized energy, as fed, but you want to look at dry matter basis. Dry matter basis means remove the moisture. So we have to compare cat foods on a dry matter basis because dry and wet foods have vastly different moisture contents. So we're gonna look down to, oh, hey Jericho. He's like, all right, fine, I'll join your video and just clean my butt. So, so we're looking at steak frites and let's see, this is minerals, uh, dry matter basis. Okay, so steak frites, we look at phosphorus. This is actually the one with the lowest phosphorus, 0.57% on a dry matter basis. Remember, VCA hospitals says between 0.3 and 0.6. So that's within this range. The protein on a dry matter basis is 61%. That's great. That actually is exactly what mice provide. So you're still sticking to the cat's natural diet, although some of the protein probably comes from the pump and stuff because of the AFCO product name rule. Fat is good. Carbs, 7.5% on a dry matter basis. So that's really good. Uh, typically you won't find less than 10% unless you're making raw food at home. So 7.5 is definitely more ideal than the average, which is you know upwards of 30, 30 or 50%, especially when you're talking about dry food. The next low phosphorus wet cat food that we'll look at is Wellness Healthy Indulgence Chicken and Chicken Liver. This has the same product name with chicken and chicken liver. So that means the minimum requirement of chicken and chicken liver combined is 3% and it's less than than 25%. Otherwise, it would say chicken and chicken liver dinner or chicken and chicken liver recipe or entree would have one of those descriptive words. When you see with, that means between three and 25%. Well, three and 24.9%. It has to be less than 25 Anyway, 
Scroll down to the ingredients. So chicken broth, water sufficient for processing, chicken, chicken liver. So again, that's good. They're telling you that there's muscle meat, but they're not saying poultry meal. They tell you chicken, chicken broth, chicken. And instead of saying poultry byproducts, they say chicken liver. So they're telling you the animal and the byproducts that's being used. That's what you want to see, very specific ingredients. Then there's also eggs. Again, and eggs is a great source of protein, but it's very low in phosphorus and eggs are actually known as the ideal protein. They're the most bioavailable protein. So that's going to be easy for your cat to digest. Then there's cons, potato, starch, guar gum, which is a thickening agent. The xanthan gum is another thickening agent, but there's no carrageenan. So maybe that's a kind of a con, but also kind of good because they aren't using the carcinogenic thickening agent. You'll also see some, some other inappropriate ingredients, potato, starch, and uh, white sweet potatoes, blueberries. But again, these are all cons that are in most commercial cat foods. And frankly, you're going to see way worse cons in the prescription foods, but that's just my opinion. And uh, for nutrient profiles, it says new nutrient profile is available here. Click on that. And this is going to tell us the dry matter basis of the composition. So we're going to look at this section here is in the middle. That's what AFCO requires, and then on the right is what their product contains. So for protein on a dry matter basis, it's 37%. That's a con because that's pretty low. But again, with most commercial cat foods, this is this is the reality of it all. So, uh, you know, you got to have to deal with that when you're feeding commercial foods. Then the carbohydrates, again, that's not ideal, 23%. That's double what ideal would be, which is ideally less than 10%. But if we look at the phosphorus on a dry matter basis, it's at 0.55%. So that's within what VCA hospitals recommends. The next low phosphorus wet cat food that we'll look at is Solistic. This is their Good Karma pouch, and the product name is Chicken Dinner. So this is the first one that we've looked at that fits under that 25% minimum requirement of chicken. So you see this says Chicken Dinner instead of saying with chicken. So this product has the most chicken compared to the other two. So we'll look at the ingredients, chicken, chicken broth. I think that's it, or meat ingredients. So a con here would be this one doesn't include liver. So you'll have to weigh out which one you think is more appropriate. And then there's xanthan gum, another thickening agent. This one is basically just chicken water and vitamins and minerals, which isn't ideal. But again, when you're looking at the larger picture, comparing dry food to wet food, wet food's always going to win. So yes, maybe this food isn't 100% ideal, but when compared to dry food, if this is your only option, this is still going to be better. So right here where it says complete nutritional information linked to page, that's what you want to click on. I looked at other cat foods in the database and this information wasn't available. So again, you have to contact the manufacturer for this information or dig around for it on their website. So we're going to scroll down to dry matter basis and we were looking at good karma pouches. And this is a big difference because they also have a Good Karma can that has completely different values. So make sure you're looking at the right product when you're doing this. Pouches, Good Karma protein, 55%. That's great. At 13%, that's lower than what it should be with mice and other rodents and birds. Generally, you'll find that the fat is half the amount of protein. So an ideal number here would be something more like 25 to 30. And then you'll see this is why that there's low fat because the carbs are really high. So 27% carbs, slightly higher than the one that we just looked at. But the phosphorus here is 0.68% on a dry matter basis. Technically, it's higher than the 0.3 to 0.6 range, but there weren't that many options on the cat food database that I use you know, by Dr. Lisa Pearson. But again, you're going to have to take these options to your cat's doctor to figure out a plan that works for your individual cat. And then you can check out this video right over Mia to transition your cat to his new wet food. Thanks for watching.